Well, it can be very dangerous. It really depends on what temperatures we arrive at in Gibraltar. Fortunately, because we are surrounded by sea, temperatures tend to mellow, uh, and even the hottest weather, we do tend to get a sea breeze, which will help. Uh, but clearly, uh, there will be parts of the planet where human life would be virtually impossible without artificial cooling. Um, we're not there yet, and certainly we're not envisaging that will happen in Gibraltar. But a heat stroke is uh, dangerous, particularly for the very young or for the very old. Um, but there are also other aspects like exhaustion, like being difficult to, to get on with your day-to-day -day life. So uh, heat is a problem. We've had two recent fires in, in the Upper Rock. What measures are in place to minimise spread? We have set up um, earlier this year uh, a number of meetings in which all the stakeholders, including the GFRS, of course, Department of Environment and other users of the Upper Rock are getting together to look at uh, how we react to a fire, how we prevent fire, and how we would evacuate the Upper Rock in the case of a fire getting out of control, which is always a possibility everywhere in the world. Um, so we have plans in place. Uh, we saw a re uh, two recent fires in the Upper Rock area. One of them seems to have been accidental, the other one we're not too sure. Um, and they were dealt with very effectively and very efficiently by our fire and rescue service. So we are confident that uh, we are able to cope with them. The fire breaks uh, are there, they are currently being uh, dealt with and in fact they're going to be widened by three metres in order to, to provide more space. Um, and we're looking at creating other fire breaks uh, in order to be able to tackle them um, in, a, in a better and more effective way. Increased temperatures appear to be something that's here to stay. Is it your ministry contemplating measures, even if they're sticking plaster measures, but things like more trees, fountains, white roofs? These are all things that we have to bear in mind um, as, as the, the, the whole climate changes in the direction where we are clearly seeing now. Um, so there are several things, trees, uh, and we're planting as many trees as possible. Uh, white roofs uh, are used in some places, but green roofs are equally good because the plants will absorb the heat. Uh, for example, there's nothing that provides cooler shade than a tree because it's an active absorption of the energy of the sun. So green roofs are also a solution, and these are always being uh, promoted through the Development and Planning Commission and so on. Uh, I think everybody has to uh, think about what they can do in order to make conditions better, because obviously air conditioning is one solution, but that in itself is using energy and, and burning fuel. So there we come to the other point, the more renewable we have, the, the, the better. So it's all interconnected. You paint a pretty bleak picture. So how much progress is being made with the climate change strategy? We are progressing. We had the first uh, formal meeting of the Net Zero Delivery Body chaired by, by my friend and colleague, uh, the Deputy Chief Minister. Uh, and there we were able to analyse all the considerable work that still has to be done to implement the climate change strategy and looking in focus groups as how we can deal with these things. Clearly, that is something that we can do at a local level. Uh, we cannot stop climate change. We can do our bit in Gibraltar, uh, but we have to be ready to compensate and mitigate because this is happening. Uh, and we just have to hope that other countries don't reverse, as we are hearing some countries are, are wanting to do, to go back to coal and so on. This is really not a measure that the world can sustain. Um, it is a problem. Remember also there are problems of sea level rise. In a hundred years, if things go like they are, we will have lost all our beaches, for example. No? So we have to be prepared, we have to be aware. Some of us have been fighting this fight for decades. It was very lonely then.